débit à la Réunion. There's never been high speed access as such in Réunion. I guess you can talk about low speed access when compared to what France and the other European countries have. All we had was high prices and poor quality, so we had to show some imagination. Two projects came up at the same time. On the one hand, we had the French Electricity Board, EDF, which was planning to expand its high-tension cable network to the most remote places on the island. And on the other hand, the Reunion region, which, as a regional development manager, wanted to meet demand. Both projects teamed up to set up an alternative joint high-speed access network. What is it? First, it it's an optical fiber wound up round high tension cables. Second, it's having to ensure the presence of a high speed access connection point in each commune of the island using different technologies such as black fiber buried underground along our roads or remote local loops. Then, it's also about the people involved in the actual making. There are native people from Reunion, Canadians, English people and some metropolitans. They all got together and made this international venture possible thanks to their expertise and know-how. The main issue is our being situated so far away from Europe, and new communication technologies help break the isolation. We have a very significant historical example during the French Revolution when we celebrated the king's birthday not knowing he had been beheaded. It used to take three months for a sailing boat to reach the island. Whereas nowadays we have immediacy with Europe and all the other countries on the worldwide network. Opening up was a compulsory requirement. The second thing is what the system can bring to the customers, which is very important in a traditional place where there are still 120,000 illiterate people with their own customs. Oral and visual communications are a must, and every inhabitant anywhere on the island is now given access to both speech and images. On leur met à leur portée et la parole et l'image. Not only is the Gazelle project from Réunion the result of a successful cooperation between the region and the French Electricity Board, but it's also part of a national scheme. As in July 2001, an interministerial regional development committee met in Limoges and made the decision with the backing of the government of that time to equip the electricity cable network of eight French regions with optical fibers uh, on a national level. The Reunion region was lucky enough to be selected among those eight experimental regions which definitely set the framework of the local project. All right, tell him to see how the raft is forming. Uh, Nasser! Well, ask. Jean-Pierre! Quel poids qu'il a mis dessous qu'il a fait tourner, hein? Le robot est un robot. Euh... The robot has been specially designed by AFL Telecommunications to roll up the optical fiber around high tension cables. It consists of two parts, a tractor drive that pulls the whole structure and a mobile part on which a reel is attached at the back to wind up the optical fibers. The whole thing is remotely controlled by an operator. Par un opérateur muni d'une télécommande.
It is placed like this on the pylon. This is made to splice the fiber. You put it, you connect the ends, and you twist it up inside. Henry will explain to you that's his field. That's a splice protection box. The optical fibers go inside here, where they are connected together. Is this the last stage? It is. We've got the final test to do afterwards. Here is the cable that goes down to the post, and those two here are placed inside there where they are connected together. That's an optical fiber, it's like a hair. Each different fiber has its own color to avoid confusion. Red, blue, green, yellow, 12 different colors all together. They are all covered with an epoxy layer. Uh, with the appropriate tool, you scratch the epoxy layer off, and underneath, you find the glass. Then you clean it with uh, some surgical spirit to remove impurities, and then you cut it to a perfect angle. So you, you place it on the welding machine, which then X-rays it in order to center and match both cores together. Once that's been done, it's then welded. After merging and welding, the machine estimates a resultant loss of 0.01 dB. How much loss is accepted? It depends on the operator, but usually never more than 0.10 dB. Here is only an estimation, it's not the truth. It is then placed here with an iron bar to stiffen the welding. Next, it is placed in an oven where it gets squeezed. Once it's become solid, they are coiled up and placed in a cassette. Here you are, as simple as that. Whereas the French Electricity Board was examining a possible updating of its network, the Regional Council was pursuing its political goal to reduce the digital imbalance and to make it possible for the entire island's population to get high-speed access. So, quite naturally, the Regional Councils and the French Electricity Board's projects were confronted with each other and both sides quickly came to the necessary arrangements in order to set up a project in common. It's a very important project in terms of ambition and, above all, in terms of technical achievement, as 220 kilometers of optical fibers were installed on the French Electricity Board's high-tension cable network, that is to say the entire network surrounding Reunion Island. Unique in the way it was carried out to as beyond the power line works I've just mentioned, we had to overcome huge obstacles due to the very special topography of Reunion. This required a set of international teams from England, Canada and many other countries of the world, as well as local teams as a matter of fact. Field work lasted two years and we often had to get over difficulties we hadn't expected when we first started. This big-scale innovative achievement was the result of three combined factors. Firstly, financial means, 16 million euros. Secondly, the expertise of the IT and communication management team of Reunion, which really did its best in partnership with the French Electricity Board to make all this possible. And thirdly, all the workers coming from different horizons. These three components added together were the driving force for the setting up of this alternative joint high-speed access network. 
We did all this together. It really was a teamwork and we succeeded, or at least we're about to succeed, because we will need two or three more months to finish it off. For 15 years, the 7% a year growth in electricity demand from customers has made Reunion a unique energy-related case on the French territory. The Reunion region is the only one with such characteristics. This has two consequences for the French Electricity Board. First, on the necessary development of its facilities, whether production or network related, the electricity distribution network. Second, the opportunity to use a data communication network to operate and securitize the Reunion's electricity system in order to ensure its public service by adjusting electricity supply to demand. The companies involved uh, that made this project possible were AFL Telecommunications, Circe, Granu. They were especially effective during the works as they had to overcome many technical, legal and management obstacles to get to this result. Where cabling is concerned, you've got that cable that comes down from the gold factory, wound up around the power cable, via a transition and all along the pylon to the region's junction box. This is where the 48 different optical fibers will be connected by placing them carefully inside. It is then brought here where it's connected to that uh, 4 times 12 connection. Here in the region's junction box, we have this small transition piece which connects customers to the server. The regional network is a tool available for both operators and internet access providers. Customers won't be dealing directly with the regional network, but will carry on buying services provided by the operators and the access providers. The operator or the access providers will be the customers of the regional network, which will enable them to offer a better quality service. The ideal thing for the students and the members who come here would be to have the same high-speed access quality as in metropolitan France as soon as possible. So here on the left, this is for the region, and on the right, this is the operator's side, where you can do all the possible wire connection mixes. This is where the customers are connected to the area. Then the cable stretches all the way to La Saline, following the same route from here, all along the pylon to some other junction boxes that will enable other areas to be connected. Faced with the decline in traditional agricultural productions, Reunion has to consider new economical developments. New technologies and tourism are both great opportunities. They will enable Reunion to open up and be anywhere, anytime. Time and distance disappear thanks to new technologies. They will give us the opportunity to open up. Moreover, our know-how will clearly become a quality reference Indian Ocean. This will set the framework of our economical and even social development. Donc, ça sera une autre base de développement économique et social même. Tu passes la corde dans l'anneau et tu émets, tu l'attaches sur une barre là, à votre poids, en dessous. Non, il y a deux anneaux. Ça fait rien, il n'y a pas beaucoup. Ok. High-speed access can be compared to a traffic network. The safe cable that reaches the island is like a huge highway with numerous exit ways which would be absolutely useless if they were overland. Therefore, the regional network can be considered as consisting of a ring road, that's the optical fibers wound up along the high-tension wires, 
a ring road that surrounds the entire island and a set of exit roads linking together all the island's communes and which can be seen as, uh, as steadily flowing traffic roads. Beyond the technical aspects, which are big achievements for the Gazelle network, we also had to fight, first, to make the safe cable reach Reunion, and then to have the costs reduced. We then had to make sure the long-term operator would not be alone. So we had to set up the Gazelle network, and little by little, to make Reunion become a great focus center in its area. That is why IT and communications are essential and decisive for our development.